in a couple of the videos that I've posted, I've, uh, well, both Marcello and myself have used the Drytron. So we thought we'd do an unboxing of the Drytron, and I'm gonna pass you over to Marcello, who's gonna show you what comes in each box and the actual way the system works. Over to you, Marcello. Uh, hi, Wayne, uh, how are you? Yeah, good, good. Uh, when you receive the Drytron, you can find, at first, uh, the base, uh, this is the grid to protect uh, from any contact uh, from the panel. And uh, we have, for sure, the power cord and the preheating phase. So, Marcello, the second box, what does that contain? That contains the main stuff. That, uh, it's obviously all well packaged. We call Drytron, and that's it. So as you can see, it's really well packaged. And now this unit will actually sit onto the base and we'll put that all together. And that's what you see next. Possibly the right one, it's very simple. We have a power cord. We can put there, that's it. Protection, protection grid at the front to prevent any contact from the catalytic panel. Then we have storage for the gas cartridge. Thank you, Wayne. You're welcome. You can put there and fix on the back. That's when, it. Yeah, we're not going to put the gas actually into it on this one because we don't want to puncture the cylinder because it's a brand new cylinder. Yeah, exactly. What other features are there on this unit that you can tell us about that we need to know? The Drytron, it's very, very comfortable stuff. With that uh, uh, lamp, uh, we can dry every product from the filler, primer, base coat and uh, clear coat in a few seconds. You think uh, that way, uh, as you did yesterday, we can dry the filler in less than one minute, ready to send. Yeah, it works really quickly. It works very similar to, let me spin you around. It works very, very similar to the units that you've seen us use in the fixed station, the large gas infrared lamps. So it's on the same sort of principle. You've not actually got a flame coming out. You've got the, I'm just looking at Martello. You've got the um, panel heated up and it's the heat that's the infrared curing system on it. Back over to you, Martello. Yes, we have on the front, the catalytic panel with the uh, gas powered for sure that generate uh, our special infrared uh, waves without flame. We have a um, pyrometer here, so we can check the temperature uh, every time as we want. Temperature... And that's simply by pressing that button, isn't it? Exactly. But uh, one question, Wayne. Do you have a 9-volt battery in hey, your pocket? Hey, here's oh, one I got earlier. Ah, well, so <laughs> that is what we need. <laughs> So, to do that, open this. Really simple unit to open up, just slide straight back as you've seen there. Fix the 9 volt battery here. Fantastic. That's way. Press this. It slips back in. And now it's work. You can see the red laser light. Yeah. In that way we can read the temperature at any time. And what was the temperature of your hand? Oh, I'm still alive. Okay. You're pretty warm. Yeah, pretty warm. So you've seen us unbox the package uh, and put it together and you know how that part looks. Let us now tell you, or let, let's get Marcello to tell you, in his words, how to actually make the unit work itself. Over to you, Marcello. Hey, to use the dry drone, it's so simple. So. Everybody can do this. Put the main body on the preheating base. Press the preheating button, and when you hear a beep sounds, open the gas valve that way. In a few seconds, the drytron is ready to cure. And this panel will get to what sort of temperature? Uh, on the surface panel? Yes. Or maybe 400 degrees.